Hi DJs, today I'm going to show you how you can record your show from home so that it can still play on KBVR radio. You can do that using a free software called Audacity. This will allow you to record your shows, play music, host talk shows, and it can still go on the air on KBVR FM. You're just going to be recording it from home. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first off, let's open up Audacity. We'll show you how it works. I'm going to share my screen here since I'm doing this from Zoom. Now, before you get started in Audacity, you actually need to download a few different drivers and things first so everything will work the way you want it to. Those links are in the description of this video. They're also in the Canvas module that explains how to do this. But you need to download those drivers and you need to download Audacity itself. So once you're in Audacity and you're ready to start working, there's a few controls up here. I'm gonna show you how to use some of these. But the very first thing you need to do is you need to set your microphone. So if you have a USB microphone, like I do, have this one right here, I've plugged it into my computer, but you don't need a USB mic. You can use the internal microphone from your own computer. To select your microphone, you're going to go over to this drop-down menu that says microphone. It's got a little microphone symbol next to it. Click the drop down menu and select the microphone that you wanna use. In this case, I'm using my Yeti USB mic, so I'm gonna click that. All right, and then if you wanna start recording on Audacity, all you need to do is hit this record button or hit the R key on your keyboard. And you click that once and you start talking, now it's going to have that waveform appear. It's going to show you that visual representation of the audio, and it will allow you to record your own voice, your own narration for your show. When you're done recording that portion, go ahead and click the stop key. All right, so the stop key has been pushed. We're not recording anymore. We see that the waveform is not moving up and down. So let's talk about some of the controls that you have in here. The first control is your selection tool. So your toolbar is right up here. I'm gonna select the selection tool. You can use the selection tool to select parts of this audio to edit it or delete it. So for example, let's say that I listen to this first part again, and to do that, you can kind of click in here, or you can just hit stop and start from the beginning. Form up here, it's going to show you that visual. Okay, let's play that again. Waveform up here, it's going to show you so let's say I want to take out everything uh, before I say the word representation. So I can use my select tool and I can click and drag exactly what I want to select. So let's say I want to take all of this portion. All right, there's a huge part of that that I want to get rid of right now. Once it's selected, it's going to be highlighted in white. When that happens, all you have to do is hit the delete button on your keyboard and it's gone and everything gets pushed over to the left. Everything before it gets moved over. Okay, so now. It only has what I left over, what I didn't delete. That's the first tool to use. The second tool is called your envelope tool. Now this is what you can use for adjusting your audio levels up and down. As you play your audio, take a look at your audio levels over here and see where it's peaking. Let's take a listen. So it's peaking at about negative 12, negative 10, which is okay, but we can increase that or decrease it. There's two ways to do it. One is to use your envelope tool. And when you hover over this blue bar, when you take your mouse and hover over it, you're going to see uh, two little triangles appear. And then you can click and drag it up and down to make it louder or quieter. If you drag it down, that waveform gets smaller and it gets quieter. I'm gonna play that. You can barely hear it, way too quiet now. So uh, you can also click and drag that all the way back up and set it to its original level. If you wanna make it louder than the original level, come over here to this little fader bar to the left. This is called your gain. You can click and drag that up. If I drag that up like 30, that's gonna be way too loud, I bet. Of the audio, and it will ah, don't do that, that's too much. It's way over here in the red. Let's bring that back down. Maybe a gain of uh, maybe plus three. Of the audio, and it will allow you to record your All right, voice. so that's a little bit better. So the other tool that I want you to use, the main tool, is going to be the time shift tool. 
This is the tool that you're going to use if you want to drag your audio to a different location. So when you select your time shift tool, you can click and drag your audio left and right. So if you don't want your narration to start right at the beginning, you could drag it and have it begin at one second. So now when you click play, of the audio and it will allow you to record your now there's a second of silence before that narration starts, okay? So let's practice putting a show together now that we know some of the basics of how to do this. I'm going to go ahead, use my selection tool, and delete all of this. So we're going to record a new narration. We're going to take that first bar. We're going to move it all the way back to the beginning. Okay. It's a little tricky, I'll admit. I'm also going to rename this track. I'm going to click audio track, click name, and I'm going to call it narration okay you could also name it something like host or dj voice whatever works best for you i'm going to call it dj voice actually i like that a little bit better so let's say you're introducing your show okay we're going to pretend that we are hosting a jazz show on kbvr fm we're just recording it from home so i'm going to record my intro Hey everyone, this is DJ Hank Scorpio. You're listening to the Jazz Hour on KBVR Corvallis. Got some cool tracks for you coming up. Take a listen to this one. All right, so now I have that first little bit of track, but I noticed that it didn't hit stop right away. There's some audio here at the very end. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like at the end. Take a listen to this one. So I said, take a listen to this one, but you still hear some of those clicks and mouse movements. So I'm going to delete all of this and get rid of it. So I'm going to highlight it using my selection tool and hit delete on my keyboard and it goes away. So now what about music? Well, let's import a music file. To import a music file, go up to file, import, and audio. You can also do control shift I uh, on a Windows computer to import that audio. So we're going to select that. And uh, mine was all saved in a folder called Jazz Practice. I'm going to pull in this one called Other Side of the Tracks. I'm going to double click. And when you import an audio file, it brings it in on its own separate track, right? So we had our DJ voice track up here, and then our music was brought into the second track. It made a new one down here just underneath it. But if we notice, it's actually layered it right on top of our DJ voice. Both of those are playing at the same time. So this is what it sounds like. Well, let's go back to the beginning here and uh, try that. Hey everyone, this is DJ Hank Scorpio. You're listening to Jazz on KBVR Corvallis. We've got some cool tracks for you coming up. To be honest, that actually doesn't sound too bad. The audio levels aren't quite mixed the way, but I actually like the instrumental leading up to it. That sounds pretty good. Uh, so what we can do there, there's a couple of things. Let's say that I don't want the music to begin right at that portion. Well, we're going to take our time shift tool and we are going to drag that music over so that it begins right when I stop talking. Let's listen to that again. Hey everyone, this is DJ Hank Scorpio. You're listening to the Jazz Hour on KBVR Corvallis. Got some cool tracks for you coming up. Take a listen to this one. Okay, so there we go. The music begins right as I stop speaking. I noticed that it's a little loud though. It's starting to peak up in the red. So again, let's use our uh, envelope tool to bring that audio down a little bit. So we're going to click and drag that down just a bit. Let's listen to it again. Still getting into the red though, so we're going to try that one more time. Just drag that down. Got to hit stop. Drag that down again. Now let's play it. All right, not bad. Now, if you notice that this is starting to get a lot, of, uh, a lot of space on the screen, taking up a lot of space. If we wanna see this a little bit better, you can click the uh, zoom out control up here. You can also do control three on your keyboard and you can zoom out so you can see more of what you're working with. It makes it a little bit easier if you've got a lot of audio files and long audio files going on there. So now we have our introduction and we have a song immediately after that. Now let's say we want to have a second song on there. Well, let's import another audio file. Again, we're going to go to file, import, and audio. And uh, we had the other side of the tracks a second ago, so I'm going to pick uh, Rapido as my next one. Double click on that. 
And again, if you scroll down, Rapido is now put on its own separate track. So the other side of the tracks is its own track, Rapido is its own track. Now this is gonna start to get a little hard to see. I want all of my music on one track. In fact, I'm gonna label this one as music so that I know all of my music is going to go on this track. So what I'm gonna do is take my time shift tool and I'm going to click and drag it over. In fact, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more so I can see. I'm gonna continue to drag it over and then I'm gonna drag it up. Now it's on my music track. And to save some space, I'm gonna come down here to where that music file was before. I'm gonna click this X key to close it. And now it's a little bit easier to see. So one song ends and the next song begins. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so not bad. One song ends, the next begins, but it's not quite the mix that I want. And uh, the two don't really work together uh, by having that big gap in between there. Uh, you could drive a truck through that gap. So what we can do instead is crossfade those two together. And there's a very easy thing you can do to do that. To crossfade two clips, what you're gonna do is select the portions that you want to have crossfade. So we're gonna use our selection tool and drag across, including dragging on to the next song. So we've got portions selected on both. We're gonna come up here to the effect controls and we're going to scroll down until we find crossfade clips. We're gonna select that. So now if you, if you notice that both of those clips got smushed together, it's all one big music file now. Okay, so let's listen back to what that sounds like. So now we've got more music right there and the two are crossfaded against each other. So it's a little bit better of a transition. Okay. So as we play that back one more time. All right. So that's what we want. We want that crossfade there. So I'm going to click away so that I can do some more work here, but now everything has been crossfaded. But let's say that I want to bring this audio down for our second song. It's a little bit loud there. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of that. I'm gonna to go to my envelope tool and I'm going to bring that down. And I'm also gonna bring that down here as well because when you make an envelope tool, it sets essentially keyframes at different points. So you gotta make sure those are consistent. So now we're gonna play that again. All right, there we go. So now I've got two songs crossfaded against each other. I've got my intro and I've got my music. Now let's go ahead and record some more narration. I'm gonna zoom out a little more. And I want my narration to begin when this song ends. So I'm gonna take my selection tool and I'm going to click right about the point where the song ends. Now I've got a line right here on my DJ voice and I'm gonna hit record again. All right, that song was called Nip It in the Bud. We've got some more tracks coming up here on KBVR Corvallis. Hope you're enjoying the jazz music that we're playing today. Here's another great track for you. Check it out. All right, we click stop. Now I'm gonna zoom in so I can see a little bit better on this. Okay, we're gonna scroll over just so we can see this a little bit better. And play it in. Oh, one more time. Playing today. Here's another great track for you. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that excess noise there at the end by using my selection tool, dragging over and hitting delete. And now I want another song to pop up right here. So what I'm gonna do again is go to file, import, audio. And this time, uh, oh, I screwed that up. I uh, <laughs> named the wrong song there. I said it was Nip It In The Bud, it was actually Rapido. Here's Nip It In The Bud. Always make sure you know the names of the songs that you're working with. All right, so there's my next song, Nip It In The Bud. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out so I can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to use my time shift tool to click and drag this over and up. I'm gonna close out this track since I don't need it. And I'm gonna move this over so that it's right in line with my narration. Here's what that sounds like. On KBBR Corvallis, hope you're enjoying the jazz music that we're playing today. Here's another great track for you, check it out. 
Okay, so that next song begins right there. But let's say I want that song to fade in underneath as I'm speaking. I'm going to take my time shift tool, I'm gonna drag it underneath. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to allow these two to fade in with each other. So I'm gonna use my envelope tool and I'm going to click it and click again. So I've created essentially two keyframes there. And I'm going to drag this down all the way to essentially nothing. And now this should fade in against each other. What does that sound like? This music that we're playing today. Here's another great track for you. Check it out. So now I've faded those tracks in against each other. It's not quite the timing I want, so I'm going to use my time shift tool and drag that in a little bit more so that it really comes to prominence right as I stop speaking. Corvallis, hope you're enjoying the jazz music that we're playing today. Here's another great track for you. Check it out. Yeah, much better. I like that a lot. So I'm going to zoom out. So now what I've done is I've created a radio show with an opening narration, two songs crossfaded against each other, more narration, and another song. And you can do that for as much as you want to. You can make your hour-long show on there. You can make 40 minutes of a show. You can make 30 minutes of a show. Whatever you need, you can do that. Uh, you can import more songs. You can record more. But I recommend keeping your DJ voice on one track and your music on another track. Uh, if anyone's wanting some PSAs, we can provide some files for you. So you can do the same thing, import those PSAs and play them at the appropriate times. But make sure that the beginning of your show always begins with a legal ID, KBVR Corvallis. All right. Now, let's say that we are done with our show. We want to export this and make this a finished file. To do that, you're going to go to File, Export. Export as MP3. Now this is really important. All of your exports need to be MP3, otherwise they won't play on KBVR FM. They need to be in an MP3 format. So click Export as MP3. Choose where you want to save it to. I'm just going to go ahead and save it to the desktop and call it Stephen Show 3 2020. Slashes are not going to work. My computer's going to yell at me if I do that. So 3 2020. It's saved as an MP3. You can see it right there, save as type MP3. We're gonna click save. And it says that your tracks are gonna be mixed down and exported as one stereo file. That's okay. It just means that it's gonna be mixed down into that single file. You're not gonna have everything separated on different tracks to be able to extract those later. So just hit okay. And then there's a lot of metadata on there. It wants to ask for the names of the songs. You can include all that if you want to. Uh, you don't necessarily need to. If you want, you can just hit clear and not worry about it, but every time you import a song, it's gonna automatically pull that into the metadata. Not crucial though, so you can just hit clear. Then hit okay. And then it's gonna export, and depending on how long your show is, how many effects you've thrown in there, uh, what, uh, how much music is in there, it might take a few minutes, might only take a few seconds, like ours is right now. But when it's done exporting, you can go find it. So I'm gonna go to my desktop, and there it is, Steven's show. When I play it, Hey everyone, this is DJ Hank Scorpio. You're listening to the Jazz Hour on KBVR Corvallis. Got some cool tracks for you coming up. Take a listen to this one. Right on. Sounds good to me. So that is how you record your show using Audacity. It's completely free. You can use it and you can continue to DJ for KBVR FM, just doing it a little bit differently right now. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, send me an email, uh, and I'd be happy to help walk you through any troubleshooting. But uh, good luck and uh, I'm excited to hear your shows.